So I've been super busy with work, with life. I haven't been able to work on uh, the videos that I want to work on. But I was sitting here doing work when suddenly I come across all these news about Unity and... Oh, my phone's going off now. Unity and a bunch of stupid stuff that they did now. Um, they did some stuff in the past as well. I don't remember what it was. But now they truly screwed everything up because, as you can see from this Ars Technica article, and everybody and their mothers covering this story on YouTube, Unity's new per-install pricing enrages the game development community. That's right, you, re you read it right. Per-install pricing. Um, starting with January 1st, Unity is going to start um, charging developers per-install. Uh, now they have said um, that this 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 doesn't quite work like that. You need to have uh, met certain criteria in order to start getting charged. Uh, maybe you don't even get charged directly. Um, we can read this very useful table right here. So check your eligibility. So if you make if you have the personal license, the free base license for Unity. Um, you have to meet these criteria, $200,000 uh, in revenue, last 12 months, and 200,000 installs, lifetime. Uh, so if you meet any of these, if, if you meet these two criteria at the same time, then you start getting charged for uh, each install of your game. Now, this is, I don't believe, based on a single game, this is, yeah, the, Obviously, it's every game that you have made with Unity is going to be covered by this. So if you have more games, it's going to get worse. Um, and here you can calculate the fee, uh, which is pretty simple. If you have the free license, it's 20 cents per install if you meet these two criteria, criteria up here. Um, so you're going to get charged for being successful, basically is what's going on previously they already had this where if you make over a certain amount of money then you you have to start paying unity but people are like well that's probably never i'm never going to get there i'm never going to have to worry about that i'm just going to make these free games and it's going to be okay um but now they they double down on that they desperately want people to Take the money that they get from their successful games and give it to Unity. Uh, they're just trying to suck as much money as they can out of uh, people using their engine. Uh, which, at, at, at a certain point, it stops being um, advantageous as a free engine. And it's just it, stop, it starts being like a scam. Like, what are, they, what, what are they going to come up with next to try to take my money away from me? The money I make from my games, you know. So, uh, this is this news has been uh, doing the rounds. It's insane. Uh, there's all sorts of um, large profile developers, high profile developers, uh, saying that they're going to stop selling their games entirely. Here's Cult of the Lamb, uh, the developer of Cult of the Lamb, saying, "Buy the, the buy the game now because we're deleting it on January 1st. Now, this could be very well a um, like a bluff sort of thing. I, I find it very radical to just take your very successful game off the market because of this. But the game was very successful. And who knows how much money they, they, they have calculated that they are going to have to start paying Unity for installs. It's insane, this kind of stuff. So... Maybe they are actually doing it, not just despite Unity, not just as like a, a bluff thing, but because maybe it is going to hit their bank accounts really hard. And this is probably going to happen with, with other developers. I've seen tweets from other developers saying they're going to have to change uh, the engine uh, because it's just insane that this is going to happen. Per install, every person that installs your game after you've met a certain amount of revenue, they're going to charge you even more. It is just the scummiest thing I've ever seen from a game engine. 
naturally everybody's going to start looking for other options because even if you're a really small developer this is a very very bad image on the software that you're using people are going to want to distance themselves from this uh, i want to distance distance myself from this i, I don't want to spend any more time learning how to do stuff in unity when next year or five years from now they could come out and say well we're just gonna it's not gonna be free anymore it just paid a license so yeah people it, it, th this completely bre breaks people's trust um but apparently the higher-ups at unity knew this uh they they were prepared they sold stocks uh before putting out the, the these news uh here's ceo john Ricciatello. um he and a bunch of other uh, chair, chair people or whatever you call them at Unity sold stocks before this news came out. So they knew what was going to happen. Uh, by the way, John Ricciatello, who is uh, ex-CEO of Unity, uh, of Unity, I, I mean, well, maybe he's, he's about to be ex-CEO of Unity, but he, he was ex-CEO of Electronic Arts. So you know where this is coming from. We all know where this is coming from. This wasn't an accident. This wasn't like, oh, we didn't think there was going to be this backlash. Yeah, that, yeah, know very well what's going what's going on. They want money. They know they probably have one of the most popular, most used engines in the market, and they want more money. And as I said previously, they they tried to come out and say, oh, maybe you don't have to be charged directly. Um, that's something about uh, how if you're publishing your game through a publisher or a distributor or whatever, then they get charged instead of you directly. Uh, but has, as some people have said, imagine I'm selling my game on my, my hypothetical game. I don't, I don't actually make uh, commercial games. Uh, I've barely been able to do that, uh, to, to use Unity even. But um, imagine you sell your game on Xbox Game Pass, on the Xbox, Microsoft Store or whatever. And suddenly, Microsoft sees like a, a million games on their store that are are made with Unity, and they're like, "Okay, so how many installs do all of these games have? How many of them meet the criteria? How much money are we gonna have to pay Unity because of these games being sold on our store?" The, uh, 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 we don't know exactly. We haven't seen the numbers yet, but a lot of stores are probably not going to want to keep selling Unity games. It's probably not going to be very profitable for them. So, this is insane. Uh, what are the Unity executives thinking? Well, we know what they're thinking. It's John Ricciatello, ex-CEO of Electronic Arts, one of the scummiest companies uh, we have ever seen in the gaming industry. Um, so yeah, uh, RIP Unity. Uh, there's this thing called Godot. Godot. Godot Engine. Uh, it's free. It's um, open source. And maybe people haven't been paying enough attention to it. But now is the time. Because Unity is going down hard uh, with with this news, I the hit was so big you have no idea. People who aren't in the gaming development um, bubble, I guess, uh, maybe don't they they can't see it yet. But the hit was so big, people are losing their trust in Unity so fast, especially because the Unity had some problems. They can't stop uh, introducing new features and then um, deprecating them uh, a couple of years later and saying, no, no, that we have this other new feature that's going to be the new system. And then that new system a couple months later also becomes deprecated in favor of something else. They can't stop changing the engine and trying to, like, I don't know, beat Unreal Engine at things. I don't know. The game, the, this engine already had its problems that it had to solve. And now they, ha they do this. It's completely insane. Uh, I recommend everybody try Godot. It's completely free. It's open source. Uh, it, I, th I don't think it even needs to be installed. It has a portable executable, if I remember correctly. Um, 
and yeah, uh, Unity completely broke the trust it had with everybody on the internet. Uh, nobody wants to pay for install, uh, for installs every game. Uh, it's insane. Uh, you lost. So thank you much. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, I'll be having some more free time to work on stuff that I actually want to work on, like gameplay videos. Uh, it's not been easy, but I am trying. So stick around. R.I.P. Unity. <laughs>